Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Here we'll take a look when to use GetX service and when to use GetX controller. Like for example, if you use uh, GetX for state management. Now GetX service, you have to remember that you want to use it uh, if you wanna keep something on the memory for a long time. So it could be when you first boot up your app and as long as you use the app. So like if you see this method of uh, GetX service actually this will maintains the life cycle of GetX service, which keeps it in the memory forever. So it doesn't matter which page you go or which screen or how you navigate, whatever the information is being used here, they would, they would be stay in the memory for a long time as long as the app is alive. On the other hand, if you have this uh, GetX controller, which is this one, now this information they get refreshed each time you come to a new page. When you leave the page, this certain controller would get killed. Like the same over here. So we have chat controller and we have getx controller. So first time we enter chat controller, this init method would get called or data will get initialized from the beginning. But when you leave this page, getx controller would get deleted from the memory. But this doesn't happen the same for your GetX service, like the one we have over here. It doesn't matter which page you navigate to, this data would be always there. So this also tells us that once you initialize this data and go to a new page and you wanna look for this data, they, they'll return the value instead of returning null. Because a lot of time you see if you use uh, um, Flutter or even GetX uh, if you want to use that. So if you don't handle it better, a lot of time you get null value. So if you're afraid of that, that your data is not initialized at the right moment, those data you have to keep in GetX service. And if you're sure with your data that null data doesn't matter or they, have, they can be initialized, in that case, you can use GetX controller. Now, another good example is like storage service. So what happens here, this saves our data in the local storage, and then we want to keep the data alive as long as our app is alive. So for this reason, in GetX service, we created variables and we refer that variable from other pages. So this is the variable that we created. And this variable gets referred from other screen or UI and because it's always alive, so whatever the data was there at the beginning, it should be always there and it doesn't need to be uh, reinitialized each time, which happens with GetX controller. With GetX controller, each time you visit this controller, then you have to, it, it, a lot of this data initialized again, I mean, it got new value or it might not have any value at all. This is where you see null is used for a value where it should not be null. So you get warnings like this. So the idea is if you want to keep things in the memory for a long time from the beginning, use GetX service like storage or like I also have over here, you'd see that a storage service, socket DV service and DV service, all of them actually inside using um, GetX service. As like uh, user settings, you don't need always in the memory. So, well, anyway, it's up to you actually how you design, but you need to know where to put data with GetX and where to put data. So, but you need to differentiate uh, the data actually, whether it should go in GetX service or it should go in GetX controller. Thank you.